my microwave is broken. Now, I can't cook, so this baby is the backbone of my culinary skills. Without it, I am completely lost in the kitchen. I need to get it fixed and fast. Hi, I'm looking to get my microwave fixed. Uh, I'm not really sure what's wrong with it, but is that something you do? Yeah, we can take a look at it. Okay, and uh, how much does it cost? Uh, base price is 75 bucks, but that could go up depending on what's wrong with it and what parts it needs. Okay, uh, it's a little more than I was hoping to spend. Yeah, honestly, you're probably better off just buying a new one. Right. 75 bucks to get it fixed? A new one on Amazon only costs like 60. It costs more to repair it than to just buy a completely new one. What the hell's that about? We don't fix things anymore. We just buy new ones and throw the old ones away. And it's not an accident. That's the way the system is designed. It's called planned obsolescence. It's where manufacturers make things designed only to last for a certain amount of time, often just after the warranty has expired, thus forcing you to buy a new one. Seriously, even the guy whose job it is to fix it recommended I not fix it. Well, I'm not gonna play ball. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, but I'm gonna fix this damn thing myself. Okay, bad idea. This thing is crazy dangerous. Even when it's unplugged, it can still totally kill you. I can't fix it myself, but I have one more idea. So I've buckled the microwave safely into my front seat, and I'm currently on my way to Pasadena. There's an event there that I think might be able to help me. I'm taking the microwave to the Pasadena Repair Cafe, a monthly event where volunteers repair household items for free. They do all sorts of things. Knife sharpening, jewelry repair, sewing, woodwork, bicycle repair, even massages and haircuts. They also have a tinkerer station where they fix just about everything. Irons, lamps, stereos, laptops, and hopefully microwaves. I could tell right away that they'd be way better at this than I was. For starters, they actually got it open. From there, they ran a bunch of tests to figure out what was going on, and before long, they'd figured it out. It's this relay is dead. We've tested the other two parts that could be causing this problem. Okay. And so it's unlikely that we can do anything so to help you today. You could go on uh, the internet and search for this part number for the circuit board and order it. The part is going to be at least 20, maybe 30. Yeah. So it's kind of like, is it really worth trying to get the part to fix it when it's so cheap? That's up to you. But yeah, I think you need a new yellow board. Well, they tried their damnedest, but sadly they were unable to fix my microwave. But I refuse to throw it out. If it can't be a microwave anymore, I'm going to do something else with it. We've got to work for a better future. We've got to join hands for tomorrow. Take the first step and you will see the future begins with you and me. We can start to make a difference if we want it for our children. Recycle that can and plant that tree because the future... Yeah, this was a terrible idea. There's no drainage or anything, so it's not even going to work. It looks ridiculous. Uh, a microwave full of dirt? What the hell was I thinking? No, I'm just kidding. I totally recycled it. We've got to work for a better future. We've got to join hands for tomorrow. Take the first step and you will see the future begins with you and me.